And I would argue that the gospel is a lost, uh, it, it, it's a lost call. Uh, I mean, it's a call to a, lo to, 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 to a lost and forfeited um, It's a, it's, a, it's a call to lost and forfeit calling to uh, fill the world with images and subdue the earth. We read in Genesis 2, um, the second chapter of Genesis 2.28, it says God uh, blessed them and said, you know, to do two things. He came to Adam and Eve and said, look, let me tell you what your job description is. He said, I want you to do two things. First thing I want you to do is I want you to fill the earth with my images. The second thing I want you to do is to subdue the earth. Now, we have to change the first one a little bit today because of the fall. So the first one today, we have to say, our job is to fill the earth with redeemed images. Now that's salvation, that's church planning, that's you know that's all of what typically we do in the church. But we leave out completely the second half to subdue the earth. The word subdue there is the Hebrew word kibosh, and it literally means in that context to make the earth an incredible place for human beings to flourish. So see, the gospel is not about just saving people to get them to go to heaven. The gospel is about saving people, having them redeemed, filled with the Holy Spirit, so they can actually do what they were originally intended to do on the face of the earth, between now and when they go to heaven. So this idea that you know, the gospel is all about us, and we get our, you know, we get our, we get our bus ticket to heaven, and we're sitting around waiting for the bus to come, and it doesn't really matter what we do here. None of that's true. But yet that's the message that you hear in most churches today. So what we have to do is begin to understand this broader understanding of what we originally intended to do and how it's the gospel that brings us back to that place. And it's through um, the redemption given to us by the Son, the power of being inspired by the Holy Spirit to go do what we were originally created to do.